Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video about this precision instrument here. This is a vernier caliper. Now if you watch YouTube and how-to videos on a regular basis you'll have seen a version of this probably not the same as this. It'll have a little screen on it and a couple of buttons and it'll be an electronic version and it'll be very easy to use because on the screen you measure the internal or external distance that you're interested in or even the depth using the end piece and then you just read it off the screen. Super simple. However, this is mine, and this is an old school one. And if you have parents who have been engineers or grandparents, they'll probably have one kicking around as well. Now, this manual vernier caliper, believe it or not, can very easily measure down to 0.02 millimeters and beyond without the use of any electronics or anything else. I thought it'd be quite fun as I was using it the other day thinking there's probably not a lot of people that I know would know how to read this thing. I thought I would make a video. So if you're an old school engineer like me and you know how to do this, this is a trip down memory lane. For those of you that maybe haven't seen one of these, I thought it would be fun to show you how to read it. So how does it measure so fantastically accurately when it's essentially just a ruler with a slidey bit? Well, if we zoom in, the slidey bit is actually graduated. Here at the bottom, you can see that there's these different graduations, and these are marked off in 0.02 millimeters. So how does having this bit printing down here and the normal kind of measurements printed up here actually get you close to being able to measure up down to 0.02 millimeters just by using the sliding pieces? So I thought, let me give you a practical illustration. Let me measure the outside of this peanut camera and we'll actually have a look. So now it's measured, let me zoom in and show you what this looks like. So here is the measurement. Now where you actually read the measurement off is at the zero place that will tell you where you're up to. So here we can see it's slightly out of kilter because the camera is actually looking at this bit and we've, these pieces are beveled. But trust me, this zero is exactly aligned with this line here. So we know it's 24 millimeters exactly. Okay, does that really help us? Well, what we're looking for is which of the lines on here actually match up with the lines on here. Because at the moment, the best fit is actually right here at the zero point. So we can pretty much positively say it's 24 millimeters. Now, if we take another measurement, and this time we measure the other dimension of the peanut camera, then let's zoom in here and have another look. Again, it's slightly out of kilter because you have to adjust for the fact that unfortunately, we're kind of uh, having a bit of distortion because of the closeness of the camera to get a nice picture for you to have a look at. Now we can see here that it's 54 millimeters, but it's actually not. This line does not match up. So what we do is we know it's almost 54 millimeters. So which of these lines is most closely matching? And we can see here that the two isn't matching, the three isn't matching, the four isn't matching, neither the five, six or seven, the eight, as we're getting up here, it's getting closer and closer and closer. And here, the nine is almost there. But down here, let's say that this is the line that's actually spot on. So now we know that it's 9, 4, because each of these graduations is 0 0.02. So this is 53.94 millimeters in diameter. Make sense? Let's try another example. Here's one that I've just put together just to, to kind of test. So um, rather than me explain it, let's say we've just measured something and this is how the vernier caliper looks. What is the actual measurement? So I'm going to shut up for a second and let you try and figure it out. So looking at this, we take it from the zero. So there is the 15 millimeters, 16, 17. So it's between 17 and 18 millimeters. It looks about halfway, but let's have a look. Which of these lines is matching up to the one above? It's around here. 
So I would say that this particular measurement is probably, I would say that the 0.7 is about right. So we could say that it is 15, 16, 17.7, because that's the one line that's matching. It's 17.7 millimeters. However, it's probably more like 17.7, maybe two. 17.72 is probably the one that we're interested in. So that's how using a simple device like this, how you can measure down to 0.02 millimeters quickly and easily without having to use a battery. So I thought that would be fun for those of you that maybe never seen one of these. This is very similar to how you read off things like micrometers and other precision instruments. But because this particular Verni caliper gets down to a level of accuracy that's below what I need for making 3D printed parts and measuring stuff in the hobby, I've never felt the need to upgrade to an electronic one. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.